Hello friends, my name is Farma and this is Albert. Hello my friends. And together we sold our house and all our belongings so we can try a new adventure on a sailing catamaran. Welcome to Idols. Crazy folks. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, some of you might think we're crazy for what we're doing, we, and we probably are, who knows, but it might turn into something very interesting. Our goal is to travel across the Atlantic. Well, hello friends. I am back, kind of wrapping up the final cuts for the top. As you can see, the top is pretty much done, but I need a piece of pipe here to finish up this same small section there. I might do the in-betweens between these bays over here. This is going to be cut off, but it has a pipe that's going to be a see-through area, where if I uh, do a slide panel or whatever, I haven't decided quite on that. But I need a piece of pipe there and there so I can go through the top and finish screwing in this top all the way down on these uh, rails on these pipes last video you saw me cutting some of these pipes with an angle grinder and I'd like to show you what it is that I'm doing on this this is not the perfect example because this was for something else um, but basically Whatever the thickness of your pipe is, if it's a one inch, what you try to clear up for a valley for it to sit on is one third of the thickness. So if you got a square cut like this, and this is a one inch pipe, well, one inch is out here, half of uh, one inch is there, so you would basically make this groove from one third of the way. Since I'm not using a drill press with like a keyhole saw, which would work beautifully, but you need a drill press. And you really can't do it freehand like this unless you have the drill press. Um, but if what you would need would be a keyhole either the same size or the next size up, not under. And when you would cut down out of that circle you would end up from the point the same idea one third so what I'm doing in this case seeing that I do not have that I find by the shadow or by the uh, the the reflections on the pipe a center point so center point is right here already because I already have this notch established and center point is right here. So what I would do is I would turn it on its side and cut into that center point on the two halves. So there's one half and there's the other half. So I would cut, like I said, to that point, which is one third with that angle. And then from this side, I would do the same thing from there to here. And it would leave me this type of a valley. Now, I cannot do it perfectly round. I just do it into a point. So close enough. So what happens is I end up with a little bit of a, an opening right over here in the middle because it's being cut into a straight line. But that's how I do it. The one I have to work on right now is a little bit trickier, which is this one, and it's, it's not going into a square cut. And it's not a pipe like this, it's a pipe that's running on an angle, more like this. But this one has a slight angle already on it, so let me see if that works for over here, actually. All right, so this, because I'm lower on this side than I am on this side, that already makes up for the off 90 degrees that I got here. So if I place that here, just like that, I'm fairly tight here and I'm fairly tight there. So just bring this up across and see what it is that I need 
which is one third of the width of this pipe, basically. So I'm in the middle, but I know this is not going to line up in the middle, but straight down, I'm pretty close. That's where I need that to end. So I'm actually pretty close with this mark. If I do it, same spacing on both, I got that match up. If it was gonna go on to the opposite side, what I would do is cut it a little short on one side and then long on the other. But still the, the theory is the same. So I got that matched and this will be the pipe to that side over there. Now could do it from the top over here. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing for now is making these cuts. And I'm not gonna bore you. I'm not gonna bore you. You watching me do all this grinding. Show you this one and then I'll fast forward to the next step. By going in there with the blade and just scraping, you're just taking the higher part on the inside and kind of making it contour a little bit better. So let's check to see how this fits. And it should fit nice and tight on this area. And I'm actually a little bit loose on this one, I think. But it will go. No, it's actually good. And I'm using this clamp to kind of hold it in place. So all my pipes are done. So ready to go to the top and screw all these in with the de-strapping. Now another thing you saw me doing earlier on on the video was making all the notch, all the grooves. So basically I made all these strips. First a half inch offset over here the first router which was 5 8 and then do a straight edge again move it up to give me a full one inch exactly one inch is double the thickness of this it's not shy it's not a sixteenth uh, less than a half it's exactly half inch so this is exactly one inch in a couple of areas it was slightly tight uh, because of the silicone that I had between the two layers so just by running the belt sander slightly on the edge breaking the edge slightly it was able to squeeze in and make a nice tight fit like what you see going all the way around the whole parameter looks really good and then afterwards I ran the router and I didn't not show that it was a little bit uh, should I say uh, dusty uh, trying to control plastic to maintain all the shavings from going out in the water to maintain everything to fall down on the deck So that's what we did Fatima walked up there with me She uh, draping a, a wide piece of plastic over this and I was running the router and uh, it's got a little bit of These little waves and that was from the saw blade actually because this was a coarse cut I did not sand this first so with that and the router making those slight jumps is enough to give you this effect and i don't mind this effect one bit um so did it all got the seam on a straight run basically uh belt sanded to to flush them up uh, a little bit this one was giving me a hard time went around the parameter 
got another seam right over here and again I ran the sander on this seam in the middle and this is mirrored to the other side And right now we are building a windshield. Started off with a 4x8 sheet of quarter inch uh, plexiglass. Quarter inch plexiglass and I've had to fit it a few times, uh, which didn't go too bad. Uh, and we are just doing the final things. We've cut it to shape. Now we're heating up the return and hopefully I can show you what's going on through the rest of the process. We always forget the camera. <laughs> sure. Okay, I have somewhat of a natural shape already on this. So I should be able to Put this fine. Now I've already fitted this half. So once I made this half, I used the template and traced this one out, then fitted this one, made the notch according to the lines, and um, ready to go up there and see now how it fits. Because uh, we actually haven't had it up there since I did my final trimming. I had to round off slightly over there and now making the back. Now there's still a few things to figure out on what I'm going to do as far as the track. But that should go fine as well. I have the idea of what I need to do. Uh, but we only know how well it will work once we get it going. So, I need to run the track in here, but you can see I'm pretty tight up against the deck and this is not bad at all. I uh, can round that off slightly, but I'm having a hard time with the heat. I am pleased with the way it's shaped out. I'll be able to maybe polish this up or even smoke it all the way and get it a texture out here. The, I'm interested in keeping the front nice and clean and that it is. So I'm going to take off this little bit over here. This will push in slightly. If you can get me a clamp and uh, come around this. Okay, here's Albert putting uh, some finishing touches. Looks pretty good. Around the dodger. As 
I step on the wrong things. Using 5200 on this. Don't want it to go anywhere. It's not going anywhere. All of this, this whole windshield, or Dodger, as Fatima's calling it, uh, is all under pressure from the roof. So, not relying on it as being the sole uh, thing that supports the roof, but either way, it has a lot of support strength. These poles are holding it up for now. And uh, making sure that I don't get the silicone above the rope line and not twist the rope line because this stuff is a complete disaster to work with. Uh, if you get it in the wrong place, I am really not sure what's the best way to get rid of a mishap. We already had a couple on the windshield that were a real damper. <clears throat> Have the paper towels so I can uh, clean the knife because you're going to need to heat it up. You don't have a hot knife. You can always heat a knife up and cut any type of nylons a rope. Heat it up because it will unfray if it's not melted. And this will make a nice easy cut. Okay, and we got the short piece to do the rest, right? With the short piece, babe. No? No. Uh, it's right there on the other side, but I did not use it on the other side. Oh, I see. swimming around in a circle. Honey, do you know what kind of fish they are? Mm, I don't know if they are small tarpon. I have no idea. Seeing that we got so much so much tarpon. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely swimming in the circle. Yes. Now would be the time. Oh my goodness. Water. Get the what? Oh. Go ahead. I'm not a fisherwoman. I got the camera. I can't. Hey guys, what do you say? Elva should go get the fishing pole because I'm holding the camera. And I'm not letting go. This is pretty incredible. Yeah, what if they tow the boat? Ah, uh, then we'll go with it. We'll go with the flow. Wow. See, this is what boat life is all about. I mean, this is pretty incredible. I wish you guys were here to see this. Well, our journey is really going to begin in about two weeks on the 14th uh, where we're going to be leaving the marina and we're going to be heading down to Marathon Island to finish uh, some of the work. So that will be exciting. We didn't buy a sailboat to set out a marina and that's where we've been for the last few months. Cheer up. 
but uh, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to it. I've already been uh, supplying the boat with uh, plenty of staples to keep us going. Plenty of what? Staples. Meaning food. No, not, not staples. He's thinking construction again. He's always uh, thinking construction. Staples, uh, electronics. Sta oh my lord, Becky. That is staples. It's a different type of staple. Yeah. No. Staples as in provisioning for the journey. So, yeah. Okay, so we've been on the boat four months. That's how long it has been since we made the transition of selling the house and moving on to this boat. It's uh, been hectic. It's been work. A learning well, for curve. For the last... Yeah, for the last... A learning curve. A learning I mean, curve, absolutely. Yes. Uh, the last uh, 14 weeks, actually, I've been working with the company that I worked before. I had taken on one more final project for them. It was being done as a favor, and I expected that it should have been done by now. It should have been done, had it started on time. But it started almost two months late. So the project is still going, and I had to tell my boss that that was it. This was my last week. So yesterday we actually had a nice, pleasant visit. Uh, day before yesterday, I'm sorry, Friday. We had a nice, pleasant visit from uh, him and his wife. Uh, we really enjoyed the visit, had a few drinks, had a few laughs, talked about the past, talked about the future, and talked a lot about boats. It was a fun visit. Hi guys! I'm coming to get my water. Want some water? Honey, you want some water? I want something to drink. Okay, bring some to come out. And if you like these videos, please hit the... Give us, a, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you'll uh, be notified when uh, a new video comes out. We'll try to be consistent and try to put, put out one What once she a week. means is hit that little bell <laughs> so you can be notified. What did I say? <laughs> yeah, okay. Hit the subscribe. Subscribe it doesn't cost you anything, and but if you want to be notified, you have to click the bell. Button. Okay. Like the belly button that you said before. Yes. Got it. Like okay. All right. We'll bring you on uh, on next adventure. Don't forget, share it with your friends, and that helps us a great deal. Thank you.